Suppose you are running a business or you own a consultancy company where you have to deal with the clients most of the time. So in order to make a streamlined work process, you need to make appointments. And how can you make your appointments? Nowadays, we use appointment scheduler application. Hi, I'm Gaurav from Know How Academy. Now, if we talk about appointment scheduler, there are various and multiple types of appointment scheduler from basic to advanced. Now, if you want a full-fledged appointment system with very low coding, you can build it with the help of Power Apps. Now, before moving further, let me tell you what you are going to learn in this video. So, in this video, we are going to create an appointments calendar. Also, we are going to display our gallery, which contains all the details of our appointments. And we will create a form for adding and editing our appointments for the users also we will create a power automate flow to send the email notification one day before the appointed date so first here in my SharePoint I have created a SharePoint list and here I have my title which is a default column of type text ID is also a number default column then we have our notes which is multi line of text and in the time I have selected the choice column making three slots third one will be our 11 a.m. and say and last is our date column which is of type date time in which I have selected date only. So I have taken the date and time columns separate. Now this is our SharePoint list. First we need to create our application. So we will go to our power apps and create our application. So first in my app I will select create. I will select blank app. Then my app name will be appointment calendar app. After clicking create, first we have our blank screen. Now for making a calendar control, we can take the help of our default screen templates. So I will select calendar here. I have to fix my connection because it takes Office 365 Outlook. Now we have added our calendar. First I will change the drop down. I will select calendar. Now this is our calendar and here is all the dates. Now we don't need this complete screen. So I will simply copy my calendar. I will select control. I need this, this and I will click copy and I will go to my screen one and here I will select paste. After that, I will simply drag it a little right. Now in my screen two, I will go here and I need to select this and set these variables. Then I will go to my screen one and here on my on visible, I will paste this. Now one more thing. Here we have in our advanced property visible this variable calendar visible. So I will just copy it and in my screen one on visible, I will write set paste my variable and will be true. Now after that, we don't need this screen too. So I will just remove it. Now I'm getting here to error. So to fix that, we just need to remove this collection. So here our error is fixed. Similarly, we need to remove the collection from here too. Also in our circle condition, I will simply write true in the beginning now we need to connect our sharepoint list in our application so to connect i will go to my data select add data select my sharepoint after selecting my connection i will select my sharepoint site then my list which is appointments and connect now we have connected our list and here you can see the dots below all these dates now you can see the dots below our dates in the calendar but i want these dots to be visible only below the appointed dates. So for that, I will select my item here and in the circle, I will go to visible property. I will select not is blank. Then I will take lookup. After that, my list appointments where date is equal to. Now in the date, I have to select this date. So I will select date add. I will just copy it and in my formula. I will paste. Then I will close it. And after that, format. Now, if I preview it and check, we have dot under our date 20. So if I go to my record here, the date is 20. Now we have added our calendar. Now I want to display my appointment details. So I will select a vertical gallery. But before that, I will just move my calendar here and I will add a vertical gallery. The layout will be title and in the data, it will be appointments. Now I will simply drag my gallery here, here, increase the size. Then I will just copy and paste. This is our title. Here will be our date. After the date, I will display time dot value because it's a choice column. Then I will just simply increase the size. And similarly, I will display the notes. So here I will write notes. Also, we will take a rectangle and give it a label, which will be appointments font size. I will give it 21 font weight. I will give it bold 
then color will be white now this is our gallery now i want to filter my gallery according to my calendar so for that i will simply select filter appointments where date is equal to date selected now if i preview it and select 20 here i am able to see my record also now we need to create another screen to add and edit our record so i will select a blank screen and here i will take an edit form sorry i will take edit form and the data source will be appointments and here are our fields now i will simply add a button and in my button action let me drag my form a little now i have dragged my form here i will take a rectangle and in my rectangle i will add a label which will be appointment details after that i will drag it to increase the size now in my button i will write submit and in the advance i will select on select and in the on select i will write submit form form to also reset my form same form form 2 and i will navigate back to my screen one also in my form i will select on success notify appointment saved successfully notification type will be success and duration will be 1000 ms also in the item section if we are editing our appointment we need to add lookup where appointments comma id is equal to gallery dot gallery 2 dot selected dot id now we need to adjust our form mode which is form mode dot edit by default so i will change the form mode but before i will add a back arrow to navigate back and in the on select i will select navigate screen one and in the display the color will be white now i will go back here i will add an icon which will be add i will place it here in the advanced property i will select set where form comma variable value will be new and then navigate to our screen 3 in the display icon color i will set this color then in my edit i will select this arrow the same i will copy and in my edit arrow i will paste now here instead of new i will write edit and done now to check our edit i will simply change our record here when i click submit here our record is changed also we forgot one thing which is going back to screen 3 and in our form mode which is default mode is edit so i will add if where form is equal to edit form mode will be edit and if where form is equal to new then our form mode will also be new so now if i go back i will select this date change my date here then click on submit so our record is updated similarly if i add a new record then i will select my date which is current date time and click on submit so here our new date is added let me adjust this so this is how we can add and update now this is how we can use our calendar to see the appointments in our sharepoint list also we added and updated our records in our SharePoint list. Now, what if I want to send email notification for the appointment? So for the upcoming appointment, so to send email notification, we need to go to our Power Automate and here select on create, select on automated cloud flow. I will name it send appointment email here. So we have written our flow name. Now I will simply click skip. I will turn off the new designer. Then we need to select our trigger. So I will name it recurrence. Here I will select the interval and then I will select our frequency which will be day. So we have selected our time zone. Now I will simply paste the format of my start time. Here I have selected the date 23 and then select the time. So I will simply select 10 o'clock and then select the minutes. Now we need to select get items, get items in my SharePoint. Then I will select my SharePoint site. After that I will select my SharePoint list which is appointments now we need to add a filter query so date is greater than i will select the expression but before i will need to add the double quotes here i will select format date time then i will select the timestamp which is utc now and here add days minus one comma the time format here i have added the time format now i will simply add the single quotes here here I have selected add days minus one. So I will get the records which are greater than yesterday. I will simply copy this and then click OK where date is greater than yesterday and date is less than I will paste it again and instead of minus one I will write one and click on OK. Then I will add a new step which will be send an email v2. Now in the to section I will just write my own email. Now I will write the subject which will be appointment reminder then i will write dear customer your appointment for 
then space title is scheduled at then i will select the date which is date column instead of at i will write schedule on date at i will write time value then add the full stop and will write thanks so in our get items we have filtered it with the date greater than the yesterday and date less than tomorrow i'm sorry it will be instead of tomorrow i will select two days and update and click on save now to test our flow we can simply manually test so our flow has failed because we forgot to add double quotes in our second condition so simply i will add the double quotes and here i will write two and then click update then i will click save now in my test i will automatically test and check our flow run so here it is succeeded and now here we have got our success the flow has ran successfully now if i go to my email and see so we have gotten our appointment reminder dear customer your appointment for appointment special is scheduled on this date at this time so this is how you can use your appointment calendar in power apps so in this video we learned how to create an appointment calendar with the help of power apps and sharepoint list also we created form to add and edit our appointments and we used calendar to filter our records in the gallery also we created a power automate flow to send the email notification for the upcoming appointment. Thank you for choosing Know How Academy as your IT source. We are always there to help you navigate to the tech world. It's been a pleasure sharing this information with you. So stay curious and keep learning.